When it comes to a night out in Schaumburg, Illinois, there are a few staples. There's Woodfield Mall. There's Laugh Out Loud Improv Theater. There's the Ikea. There are the countless restaurants and bars. However, there is one staple on that list that I have not yet mentioned, and that is the AMC Streets of Woodfield. For over 20 years, this location has been a prime spot for people in the northwest suburbs looking for a night of movie-going escape. This theater offers 20 screens, a downstairs and an upstairs, an IMAX theater, multiple concession options, and a great cinematic atmosphere. When you walk into the building, you are greeted by an expansive lobby with movie posters and stand-up displays filling every corner. Also in this space is the concession stand, the MacGuffin's Bar, and a row of one of life's best inventions, the Coke Freestyle Machine. I will never forget the first moment we experienced these legendary machines at this theater. It was May 2015, the movie was San Andreas, the theater had officially opened all screens after undergoing some renovations, but little did we know that the Coke Freestyle Machines were only just the tip of the iceberg. We also discovered this theater had installed the recliners. Now, recliners are definitely very commonplace nowadays, but this is one of, one of the first theaters to have them in our area, and it was truly game-changing. I will never forget sitting there drinking my Mr. Pib Zero and reclining at the same time. We were just all so pumped, and it was so awesome. Now, while that May 2015 day will forever be legendary, that is only one of the memorable moments I've had at this theater. Here are some others. First on the list is seeing Jurassic Park 3 in 2001. Now, I wish I remembered more about this experience, but the important thing is, I remember that it was one of my first ever trips to the theater. It was my mom and I and a friend, and I recall being very mesmerized just about the overall size of this place and how there's just an upstairs and how immersive it was. Now, the early 2000s were definitely the peak of my dinosaur phase, so it was just a, a day packed of excitement. Also, not really just a phase, because love of dinosaurs, that is forever. That never goes away. I mean, they're just the coolest. So excited for Jurassic World Dominion in June. Next up is seeing Power Rangers in April 2017. This will forever be one of my favorite solo spontaneous movie experiences. It was one of those days where I only had one college class and wasn't scheduled at my part-time job that day, so I had a whole free afternoon. I was debating all day to go see it. I, have, I hadn't yet seen it at that point, but you know, I'm so glad I did. It was just me and two other people and at the 12.30 showing, and another really small detail I remember is I cut my finger on a sharp edge of a card in my wallet. I was too embarrassed to ask an employee for a band-aid. I mean, it really wasn't that bad, so I just I covered it a bit with paper towels, and it was fine. Regardless, you know, it may have just been the blood loss, but this will always be one of my most enjoyable times I had going to the movies by myself. As a big uh, Power Rangers fan growing up, hearing that theme on the big screen was just pure awesomeness. And the cast is just so amazing too, and the movie just had so much heart. I remember just walking out of it just feeling so glad I saw it. Next on the list is seeing News of the World in January 2021 on the night before my birthday. This one means so much to me since it was one of my first movies back after the pandemic started. I remember just being so pumped and almost unable to process how I was in a movie again. Now, it was still pretty peak pandemic time, so we made sure to find a movie with very few others, you know, having tickets booked, and we lucked out that there's only one other group on the other side. Also, the, the, the fact that this was, there was kind of the general optimism at the time that vaccines were close, so that definitely made it, uh, both of those factors definitely made it a more relaxing experience. And just seeing that wild west landscape on the big screen and hearing the legendary voice of Tom Hanks while having Coke Freestyle Mr. Pibb, it was amazing. And truly just, you know, I'm so, so fortunate I got to have that experience uh, on the night before my birthday. And the last one on the list is seeing Eternals in November 2021. I just remember sitting there and just not being able to process that we were actually sitting at a Marvel movie on opening night. Considering about exactly a year ago from that time was when theaters in Illinois, understandably, you know, closed for the second wave of COVID, a time where the concept of seeing a Marvel movie just seemed so far and distant. It was just so unbelievable sitting there a year later, you know, thanks to vaccines and all the incredible healthcare workers, it was able to happen. And we were just sitting in an actual Marvel movie on opening night. And those are just some of the awesome times I had at this theater. When all is said and done, AMC Streets of Woodfield is undoubtedly one of the theaters I go to most. Undoubtedly a location where some of my favorite moments with friends and family had it occurred. Undoubtedly a place that offers an immersive cinematic experience that first showed us the awesomeness of the recliner seating and the Coke Freestyle machines. And just overall, 
it can be said that the AMC Streets of Woodfield is undoubtedly a staple of Schaumburg. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day.